What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's JJ and nice to meet you. On today's video, we're gonna be discussing the metric time clock. Now, I've seen this online. I got it for my birthday from my fiance. Shout out to you, thank you so much for this. It has a lot of cool features we're gonna be going over today. So, without further ado, make sure to hit that like button first and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump right into it. So let's see what comes inside the box. Surprise, it's a clock. Little quick start guide, clock, ooh, legal stuff. Cable okay, to plug it in, and a bunch of adapters. I guess this is for like international, depending on where you live. And that's it. So we'll get rid of these, because I do not need these. So far, it feels very light. As you can see, the button's up here. Has a little headphone jack there, and this is where we're gonna plug in the power. Other end is gonna go right in here, and we're gonna plug it into the wall. All right, we went ahead and moved to the kitchen since there's better lighting and a convenient plug to plug this into the wall over here. So let me go ahead and plug it in. Wow. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the quick start guide. It looks like it's pretty simple here. A few steps, so we'll go ahead and get started on that. So we're gonna go to the app store, download the app right here, get. So first thing you're gonna do is create an account, which I'm not gonna show you all the personal information there, but it's simple as email and a password. All right, then we gotta make sure it's on, which it is, hit next. Please type the pin that is displayed so then it's gonna ask you to link your phone to the clock, which it'll give you a pin on the clock you gotta enter on your phone. And then it's gonna ask you what Wi-Fi you wanna to connect to. Go ahead, enter the password, and you'll get here. That is the correct time, it's so smart. Now in the app, it's showing you pretty much how to use the app, what you can do. Hit next. Tap to install new apps, next. Tap to change volume and brightness, okay. So these are the default apps that it comes with. We got the clock, we have weather. I'll click weather, it'll show us the weather here, which looks like, I don't know, I guess we're in space or something. Um, well, it looks like I gotta set each one up, so let's go to weather. Oh, well, that's right, I gotta let them know where I am. So on the weather app, I had to turn off auto detection, and then it lets you manually put in the city you're in. So I went ahead and did that, and then I turned it back on the auto, and now it seems to be working fine. Here's a stopwatch feature. Click the button, starts going, and then click it again, it stops. And then we have a timer, if you wanna set a timer here. On your phone here, you can select how much time you want, and then you can hit play. Could also do it from here. Stop it. So we're gonna go ahead and download another app, so we'll go to market. This one seems to be the most popular, and that's honestly kinda of why I got this. I'm gonna add that to the YouTube subscriber count. So that's added, we're gonna go back here. Now we're gonna have to log into the channel. So all you have to do is type in the channel you're looking for, there's mine, so I'll click it, and, oops, click it, and then that's it. Down here we're gonna turn on notify, and we could put on positive sounds, negative sounds, notify every. Okay, so when we get a positive subscriber, we wanna hear, oh, money. So we wanna hear money, maybe? A dog? Knock, knock. Uh oh, my dog might start barking. There's so many. And then negative, when we lose a subscriber, which we should never hear this sound, ever, we're gonna hear. <laughs> I like that one. We're gonna go with that one. So there we go, that's pretty accurate right there, 4.32K. All right, then we're gonna go here, you're gonna double tap radio, and there are some radio stations already saved on here that we can test out so so the speakers are here on the side there's the power button here's the volume button of the speakers oh we got on full blast so you could also connect your phone via bluetooth to the lametric and put whatever song you want on there from your phone 
so I don't want to get any copyright issues so I'm not gonna play anything but real quickly it'll even put up the artist name on there in the song so if I hit play here it'll show you the artist name and what song now the speaker isn't the best but it is just an alarm clock and it does have the headphone jack in the back that you can connect to whatever other device you want so that way you can plug in bigger better speakers if you really wanted to use it for that reason here's the radio feature so for the radio you could set up whatever station you want and these are some defaults that they give you this one actually was not working so I'll delete that one this one is you just hit play so I was able to turn the volume up from my phone when I was connected Bluetooth playing like my Apple Music on here, but for whatever reason the radio I was not able to turn up from my phone, but it does have little volume buttons right here on the side to turn up and down. So far I have not heard the cache sound, which kind of sucks. I was hoping that would happen while we were filming, but maybe when this video goes out there will be a lot of cash being thrown. Hopefully you guys are making it rain out there. So when you go to market, here are a bunch of other apps that you can download go to show all here are some of their favorites um, you could also go down here to category look at other stuff depending on what category you want so there's definitely a lot to do in here all sorts of social media we could do TikTok. another cool feature is you can connect your spotify and play spotify music right onto this device too Another cool little feature is if you get a phone call or anything, it could also be notified on the Lumetric if you want. I mean, it is personal information, so if it's in a public area, maybe you don't want that feature set up, but if it's in your home or something, that could be cool. Also, if you have like an Alexa, you can connect this to it so you can have her tell the Lumetric to do certain things. Well guys, as you can see, there's so many features on this clock. It's really awesome. I'm glad I got it. There are other features on here that you can check out on the app. There's just so many to list. There's other things like making your own image to put on here. You can have like real time news. So it really feels like Times Square right here in your home. There's all sorts of notifications you could put on here, like when a package is delivered or things like that. I also like the pixelated look that it has. It makes it look really clean and simple. And I think I'm gonna keep it right here so that way during my live stream, it's in the background. We can hear the noise when someone subscribes. Looks pretty cool. Also, if you're looking to purchase this for yourself or someone else, I'll have an Amazon affiliate link below that you can click to purchase it. Now, I do get a small kickback as like a referral. It's not a more expensive price or anything for you. It's just that me recommending it to you, they give me a little kickback. So I'd really appreciate it if you use that link. And if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.